shoe black market going on. That's exactly what it is. Where the people working in the factories for Nike. So we are gonna talk about one of the hottest topics in sneakers today. Kind of like the elephant in the room that people don't like to talk about too often. Let's get into it. What's, What's up, up C-Squad? C -Squad? It's Nigel C. And Daddy C. I'm Daddy Son. Kick Talk. And today we are kicking and talking. We are talking about the Nike Sakai Fragment LD Waffle. But not just the shoe because we've already done a review and talked about this shoe when I initially copped it. Yeah. But we got the black and blue colorway today. But right now, we are getting into a hot topic in sneakers. Oh. We're talking about real versus fake UAs, replicas, all that stuff. Oh. That's something we stayed away from. Yeah. But I'm like, it's, it's, it's too big a thing mm -hmm. to just act like it doesn't exist, right? Yeah. And honestly, a lot of people I've heard, you know, from comments and DMs, I've been getting, you know, people talking about that topic in itself. Mm -hmm. So I was like, let's let's bring, let's talk about it, right? Yeah. People think replica shoes are the reps. Well, yeah, reps. They think yeah. reps are bad looking. Totally didn't. It would just fall apart mm -hmm. after wearing it for two minutes. But now, as time has gone on, there's a lot of a lot of head buttons, so to speak, Conflict. between sneakerhead purists yeah. versus sneakerheads who are like, look, I can't get it from Nike and Adidas. You know, when they do these drops, so I'm gonna go with the second option. All right, but before we get deep into this conversation, if it's your first time here, do us a favor, hit that notification bell so you know when we are dropping more heat because we're going to be continually dropping heat consistently. We want to make sure you're the first to know, right? Yes, sir. All right, and like and subscribe because that helps our channel grow. So now, digging into the situation here. Yeah. With your age group, mm -hmm. what are, do you guys, the, do people talk about like somebody, you see somebody with a pair of like off-white ones. It's like, yeah. oh man, your school, like those are fake, man. Those are not real. That's not all that. It's like those real. Right. Yeah. And if somebody says no, it's just like whatever. It's not really, it's not really too big of a deal, you know? Yeah. I mean, I guess you kind of like trying to like show off for some reason, but it's not mm -hmm. really too big of a deal if you're wearing reps or something. Something. Yeah, they're reps, but you know, it's it's still a high quality version of the shoe. Mm -hmm. And other people are like, you know, they don't like the whole rep thing. So right. I see where the conflict is. Yeah, there's, yeah. There's, there's, I've had conversations with people, mm -hmm. uh, actually with a, another channel. Yeah. And I'm not putting any names out there, but you know, and the guy was kind of saying, I was of the mind of, look, if people can't get it the traditional route, the mainstream route, yeah. right? They can't get it on sneakers or Adidas or Yeezy Supply or Confirm, mm -hmm. then, you know, people are gonna, people wanna go in that same kind of price point to yeah. procure it if it's available. Yeah. Now, I'm not condoning or recommending or knocking people that go that route, right? Yeah. Do what you wanna do, it's your money, you know, you're a grown person, you spend your money on what you wanna spend your money on. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you what I think, but first, before we do that, tell me down in the comments which shoe you think is the real versus the rep. Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Put that one out for the camera, Nigel. All right. All right, get a good look look at this. 360 view here. We need to get one of those like things that can like, make the shoes float and spin. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So we're gonna come back and tell you at the end of the video which one it is, but, well not at the end, just further along. Let us know down in the comments right now which one you think is the rep or the UA fake shoe, the blue or the gray. Nigel? Yeah. What do you think? Let me take a good look at these, all right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Are you mixing them up? <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get one of each shoe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, gotcha. Let's see. Attention to detail is very important in shoes, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Got the waffle. Interesting. Very the waffle outside. Interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you looking for? Mm. <clears throat> mm. This was the rep. Mmm. And why? What, yeah. You ask? Why do you ask? What are you basing that on? I smelt them. Oh, from the smell? Yes. Well, truthfully, they do say that the rep shoes have a stronger glue smell in them. Oh, look at me. The power of scent. Now, I've been trying to tell you all this since day one. It's important, all right? Listen to Nigel C. Nigel, you are right. I knew it. The reason for that is because, or what you know, what we what we know, what, what's been said about that reason is the replica shoes are made in the factory, mm -hmm. mass produced quickly, and they're shipped right out. Yeah. Right? When Nike contracts the shoes to be made, they're made months and months and months in advance. Mm -hmm. So those shoes are in like clean rooms, airing out for yeah. months before they get packed and shipped 
and into the stores or wherever the retailers and then ship to your house. Yeah. So if I got this shoe, this probably was created two weeks ago, right? Wow. Where <laughs> this may have been made back in like March. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the uh, tag on the inside of the shoe, they actually even tell you the production dates. Look deep inside there. Let's see. This is made in China mm -hmm. uh, on March 3rd, 2021. Yeah to April 26th. So within that month, they made all of those shoes. Wow. So the, the crazy thing, you know, the like the whole argument and, and the beef and issue between reps, you know, this shoe is made in China, this shoe is made in China. So to me, there's there's a lot of, there's a lot of conversation. What, is, is it different? You said March to April. This one was made before the actual version. Well, the thing is, that's probably just stamped on there. That doesn't mean that that's legitimate. Wow. Coming from the replica <laughs> factories, they say, we got this okay. tag, we put these dates on it. Yeah. <laughs> but the ones coming directly from Nike are probably legitimately made at that time. All right, I got it. If that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, and that's the reason why, like, if you're ever online and you see, like, some of these replica sites, they have shoes that you're like, man, this shoe looks kind of crazy or looks kind of wild. Yeah. And it doesn't come out for, like, another year. Year right. from actually coming out from Nike. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, these people, you know, Nike is making these shoes so far in advance yeah. that the replica factories, the, the whole issue is like, there's this. There's towns in China and factories in China, and these people have been working in these factories over there for decades, right? Mm -hmm. So they've been working at factory A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Some of these factories get contracted to work for Nike to produce this shoe, oh, right? 50,000 pairs. It's a little shoe black market going on. That's exactly what it is. Where the people working in the factories for Nike still have the connections with the non-Nike factories. Right. So the non-Nike factories are getting that intel and making these replicas long before the Nike factories actually release them. You're right. So they'll have an advance. Wow. Then when they actually finally come out, a lot of times they'll update the shoe. Like if Nike yeah. will sometimes make some changes to the shoe. Right. Like mm -hmm. they'll change a panel here, there, or color something like that yeah. or they'll change the box and that you know it's a whole wow. under <laughs> under market black market that's of course backdooring um, that's how they, they get the designs the yeah. blueprints the materials it's crazy it is. but that's cool. ultimately it's still a well made shoe and I can't lie it is actually the quality control um, if any of you guys I mean buying from Nike recently mm -hmm. quality control has been tough when you you know a lot of times you'll get shoes directly from Nike sneakers yep. app glue stains stain here. Yep, I got my something. PSGs add a little red dot on them. Right, exactly. I mean, and that's, you know, they're all handmade good. So, but the craftsmanship put into these these sneakers are really still the same. But they're using the same type of machinery. Mm -hmm. You know, a Jordan 1 has been made in China since 1985. Nothing has changed. Yeah. Nothing. All they changed is the colors wow. and the materials, right? Yeah. It's either smooth leather, tumble mm -hmm. leather. Mm -hmm. um, they do something now with satin. Yeah. You know, they've changed it. <laughs> but the patterns, wow. the process, the machinery has been exactly the same. Same with the Blazers. Yeah, same with the Blazers since the 70s. Yeah. yeah, they're like 1975, 77. Right. Yeah. Um, so again, you know, back to that conversation about dying UAs, you know, all of that. And we'll talk about some differences in a second. So the case for unauthorized, which is UA unauthorized, replica shoes, you know, Nike, <clears throat> these, these brands are still limiting production, right? And you've got yep. tons and tons of consumers dying to spend their money to buy from them, yeah. right? So it's kind of like our brands forcing people's hands to find an alternate route. Mm. You know, again, I don't condone nor not people that purchase UA goods. I'm like, yeah. hey man, you like the design, get the design. You don't want to spend $2,000, $5,000 for yeah. an off-white Jordan 1. Really, that probably costs $120 to make, if that. So, you know? if you're fine with people buying reps, then you're pro-rep. I'm fine. I'm pro-people. You're pro-rep. I'm pro-sneaker game. I'm pro-sneaker head. You don't have an issue with people buying Reps. No, I don't. So you're pro rep. Sure, fine. I'm pro rep. Yeah. Call it what it is, exactly. right? Exactly. Uh huh. <laughs> I prefer, you know, I I go the retail route and I will work and try hard to get a retail shoe. Yeah. I'm on sneakers. I'm on the boutique sites. I'm the drop day, getting up early online. But if it's something I really, really want and the resale is way out of reach, I'm like, nah, man, I'm not spending that. And it's not a matter of affording. Yeah. Because I could drop six hundred, seven, eight hundred dollars on a shoe, thousand dollars on a shoe if I want it. But in my head, you said it's pocket change. No, that's not <laughs> what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is in my head, I can't justify that purchase because the feeling and the, the satisfaction I get from that purchase mm -hmm. is still a two hundred dollar shoe. Yeah. Or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So after I've dropped twelve hundred dollars, I'm probably less happy. Like, man, I got it in my hand, but then I'm like, it's man. still just a shoe. Like yeah. 
is it really worth you know and and you know it's like art of course mm-hmm. things have intrinsic value and yeah. kind of perceived value shoes i love i love shoes i'm saying yeah but i just you know that when they go out of out of the, the stratosphere i'm like nah man mm-hmm. i can take i can get a a, a two, 150 200 dollars shoe and that other 800 dollars i can use that and we can take a trip and go somewhere you That's know respectable. do something fun with the family and i feel a lot better and i'm you know just marching along and my replica shoe that looks just like whatever it is i had but Valid. to each his own right mm-hmm. and like i said i'm a sneakerhead. i've loved sneakers since the 80s yeah. when before the jordan one came out um so you know i don't feel like any person is the keeper of to the keys of <laughs> sneakerhead. Yeah. Dumb. you know what i'm saying like it's it's not that serious to me i love them it's a great creative good mm-hmm. um again but i did i was in a conversation once with a guy that said if you you're not a real sneakerhead, if you buy reps reps aren't part of the culture but i think the brands and the game itself has forced that culture to just come and rise to the yeah. surface because there's so many consumers like you know like dying you know really really pining for these these products so and they the can't get them so it's like what do i do yeah you know and then this this avenue came about and now people are like they're happy people are getting the sneakers they want da, 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 da. so anyway i know it's a controversial topic so i really want to hear from you what you think about it hit us in the comments give us your take on replica shoes yeah you know again this is authentic from directly from nike and sneakers this is from a, a, a seller in china if you want to know where I got it from, hit me on Instagram at Real Daddy Seed and we can talk there. But as far as differences go, let's first start with the box. This was actually pretty funny because <laughs> side by side, this is the same size shoe. Oh. <laughs> and that's the difference wow. in the box size, right? Oh my goodness, yeah. And the, you know, it's the same. It's a baby box. It is. And then put it next to each other too. Like, look at the difference in the height. Yeah. Look at the difference in the height here. Yeah. Look at this. Is this like, this is the rep version? Yeah, that's the it's rep It's literally box. only fit the shoe inside of here. This has room for all the wrapper and everything else. But it's funny. I mean, this is not. the shoes are the exact same size and they both, that's true. They, it fits in there. But I think with these replica companies, they get a, they make the box smaller to save on shipping. Yeah. Because obviously the smaller packaging, shipping, Smart. storage, all that kind of stuff. The other difference with the box is the labels are different. Yeah. You can see uh-huh. that. The labels are totally different mm-hmm. on those two boxes. Mm-hmm. Okay. But luckily, we don't wear boxes. <laughs> so that. who cares? Yeah. Right? People can, you know, go crazy over that if they want. You know, I'm not all about I'm not about trying to sell a replica shoe as a retail shoe because that's just wrong. Now that is definitely not part of the culture. Yeah. Speaking of selling replicas as retail, I entered, I remember on Instagram, it was a Travis Scott low like raffle online. Yeah. It was a reseller. And he te- he DM'd me, he's like, you won. You know, for two seventy five, you can get this shoe. Mm-hmm. When at the time the, the Travis Scott Low one was the Travis Fragment one was like a thousand eleven hundred dollars. Mm. And I'm like, man, for two seventy five, like steal. that's a that is a steal. Yeah. And they say if the, <laughs> if it's too good to be true, it probably is. So I, then I hit him, I'm like, it's not real, man. He was like, What you think? And then like we got into a whole <laughs> back and forth wow. thing and he was like man you dumb if you thought this was real i'm like see what? you out here trying to game people because some people like probably thinking like i done mm-hmm. came up i won as yeah. you know praying a paying a little price mm. so that's that's unscrupulous immoral yeah no if you're getting it for your own collection keep it be done with it if you're gonna sell it tell somebody this is a replica shoe mm-hmm. i paid 154 and i sell it to you for 150 100 dollars, whatever yeah but not like you know let me try to sell it at a 300 500 market price yeah but anyway check as far as the differences in this shoe the tongue i peeped that you peeped the tongue yeah look at this the tongue on the normal on the regular version the retail the authentic retail version look at it it's like it's kind of like a sponge type with holes in it and all this like a mesh, mesh. yeah, yeah there jinx. you go but this <laughs> looks more like uh I don't know how it's to explain nylon. it. Like a this is this is the tongue they put on the blazers, kind of. Yeah, it's like just a straight solid Literally, nylon. Yeah, like yep. it's, it's really different from the regular authentic version. So if you yeah. wear these and you got somebody looking really closely at your shoes and they are a sneaker genius, you might get caught wearing reps. However, yes, the, is anybody ever? <laughs> that close to your foot. Up on you. Yeah, let me let, see your shoes real quick. Let me man. see the tongue on those shoes, Playboy. You know, because <laughs> that might so. be grounds for, you know what I'm saying? First of all, you're invading my space. Yeah. And I don't think another grown person is going to roll up on you and peck the tongue. Nah. However, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Yeah. That is a difference. Um, There's some differences around some of the, the, the suede overlays mm-hmm. on the side of the shoe where this part is kind of thick. If you look at the thick part there uh, versus the thin 
on the gray oh, side, yeah. like right on the side of where the eyelets are, where the yeah. laces go. And the stitching. Yeah. If you look there, it's like a thicker um, underlay, overlay section near the, the, the eyelets or the laces on the replica versus the retail. Yeah. Like here, it's just a lot thinner. Mm -hmm straight there along that side. Mm -hmm. And then let's see, what else? Also the the weight of the font on the inside of the shoe is a little, it's a little more bold How on the replica. That? I mean, you really gotta look hard. <laughs> Nobody walking what? on any street in any mall is ever gonna look at that and say, hmm. Ah, you kind of right though. You see the difference? Yeah, it looks like, a, like the reps look more, um, like there was more ink put into the writing. Yeah, it's a little bolder. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. I'm just, you know, just pointing this out. So if somebody yeah. does roll up on you trying to sell you a pair mm -hmm. of shoes, you know, yeah. these are just some telltale things you can look at. Yeah. Also, if you look at, wow, it's actually a lot closer than I thought. I looked at these before and I really thought this had a higher heel than the, the, the retail. I actually thought it does. Yeah, I Slightly? This side. I mean, it might be like a hair. Nah, it's actually kind of significant. Is it? If you look at, yeah, you, you see it. I can see it here. Like they're kind of like ground up. But here, it, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally probably like a centimeter difference between no, is, the two, right? Yeah. So it's not major. Um, and let's see, how's the, the classic fragment Sakai? That's pretty good. Very huh? similar. Yeah. On this side of the, on this side of the sole. All right. Mm -hmm. And then let's see, how how they do on the toe box? The toe box. Just like the curve around the front of the um, shoe. Let's see. The curve around the very front of the shoe. I mean, the, the outsoles are perfectly identical. The double stitching on the toe box on the authentic version is more widely spaced out than the double stitching on the toe box on the mm. red version. Yeah, slightly. Yeah, it is. That. Yeah. I can see that. Mm -hmm. However, if you were looking, because when this shoe came out, I think that the resale was about three, three fifty. Mm -hmm. This is a shoe that's probably one twenty-five. Are these changes worth another two hundred to two hundred and fifty dollars? I wouldn't say so. That's all I'm saying. I'm just putting food out there for people to consider to think about. Yeah. Right? Again, sneakerheads embrace all walks of life. You know, just don't try to sell replicas as retail. Mm -hmm. I think there's space in this culture for everybody. Yep. If you want to spend your money, spend your money. If yep. you don't, don't. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I'm not judging you. I like the shoe. That's all you need to say. Hey, bro, like your shoes, man. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. That's all we got for today. But we'll do some more of these real versus fake replicas at, at another time with some other editions, some other models. But thanks for hanging out. Let me know if you enjoyed this content. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.